Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm going to do a little bit of an update on my Dutch Bucket bell pepper plants. Um, if you watched my last video, uh, which I'll put on the card right about here, um, I planted them out in these Dutch Buckets, not really knowing what to expect, and um, I got to admit, you know, it, uh, it was rough, you know, when I trade or when I changed them out, it was in the middle of the day. And I think that really shocked the plants. And then I was having an issue with um, my iron in my system. So when I added all these new plants, um, I was already having an iron issue. But then when I added these plants, it really took a dive because they ate up any nutrients or any uh, iron that was left over, just a little bit that was left over, and basically started to have an issue. So I started getting a lot of leaf drop and um, and they were just stunted really badly. But since I'm saying that, I'll say this. Finally, they're starting to grow, but I am noticing another issue. And I think what it is, is um, my magnesium is low in my system. So with that said, let's look at how to properly diagnose the magnesium deficiency. And let's come up with a solution. This is actually a banana pepper and uh, our sweet banana pepper. And as you can see, overall, this whole plant just does not look good. Um, it is bigger from the last video. If you look, it is the first bucket on the row. And um, it looks taller, but see, it's, it's, it's got leaves coming in, but they're yellow, okay? So I think this one was really um, already having a huge issue before I put it in here. So it has grown some, but if you look under here, you can see a lot of the leaves have just fallen off. Those were all leaf points, okay? So let's look at some of the other bell peppers. Okay, a lot more growth on this one, but you can see this, see how the leaf is misshaped right here? And it's kind of thicker, okay? Um, but I think this might be a little bit of a calcium issue, but I don't think I'm having too much problems with calcium, but could be. And then, hmm. The leaves are cupping and they're turning yellow on the older leaves on the outside. If we look underneath here. Oh, that's all new growth. Those were all points that fell off and now there's new growth. So that's not technically new, uh, old growth. This, these leaves are older growth. Here's another one. If you look at the older growth, it's really starting to have an issue on the older growth. Okay. This one is looking pretty bad. And see in between the veins, it's got a little bit of a problem. Is it turning yellow in the veins too though? Yeah, I'm not too sure. But in between the veins, it's definitely turning yellow. Almost to white. All right, and this one is the last one in the row here. See? Tip, burnt, or dying. It looks like a lot of the uh, issue is coming from almost the outside edges or the furthest point out from the stem. Okay. Same on this one. See, the tip, the outside edge on the older growth, which is the lower growth usually, is changing color. I don't know if you guys can see this leaf here. Okay, the outside edges. Notice another thing. The leaves, I mean, especially this one right here, they're, cur they're cupping. Okay. So two really good indications that you're having a magnesium issue is one, the older growth starts to turn colors in between the veins mostly. And um, they start to cup. See, this, the edge is just cupping upwards. So those are two really good indications that you're having a magnesium issue. Um, you can confuse magnesium with um, iron as well, but I know my iron's good in this because I have an iron test kit that I did a video on, uh, several videos on, and I know exactly what my iron levels are. So um, I think pretty much I'm having a magnesium issue here. So with my system, I can't tell you exact measurements uh, for your system because everyone's system is going to be different. Okay, but for my system, I think I can get away with about 
um, probably a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. So that's kind of what I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a tablespoon and a half of magnesium and then I'm going to uh, wait a couple weeks and see what happens. This older growth will never come back, okay? But the newer growth, the newer growth on the plant should start coming in um, without issue, um, if I was right. So again, you guys, I'm not a professional, okay? I'm just learning, okay? So follow what I say with a grain of salt. And if you know more than me, which you probably do, <laughs> Post in the comment section below and share with everyone. Do not post in the comment section below how stupid people are or whatever. Just keep your rudeness out of it and really help the community. That's what we're about here. We're about helping one another. So anyways, guys, let's look at what I'm going to put in this. All right. So. Hey, look at that. Some cheap stuff right here. Epsom salt. Epsom salt. AKA magnesium sulfate, the stuff we need, okay? So active ingredient, just magnesium sulfate, okay? Don't put the perfume <laughs> Epsom salt in there, okay? Put just plain old Epsom salt and get yourself a little spoon for a tablespoon and a half somewhere. <laughs> So let's go ahead and let's put this in the system. The cool thing about Epsom salt is it actually um, helps your fish as well with slime coat. Now I think it is going to raise my pH a little, um, but I hope it's not too much. We'll see um, what it does, but basically I'll be able to monitor that with this bad boy. So right now we are starting at 6 Point nine, which is still it's it's on the higher side, but it's been dropping pretty drastically every day. All right, so there's no really cool place to put it. I mean, you can put it anywhere. You can put it anywhere that the water runs into your system. You can put it. So this is uh, the rain gutter from my strawberry tower, and um, you know I did do videos on strawberry towers, which I will be doing an update soon. But anyway, I'm just going to add it here and let it kind of go into the system. Um, as it melts down. So I'm going to do one tablespoon. And that is going into the sump tank. Okay. Now, like I said, you can put this in your fish tank as well. It doesn't really matter. So, um, you know, what? I'm going to do a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Okay little pile there will slowly dissolve. Um, so anyways, I mean, that's how I'm going to work out these, uh, these, uh, this perceived magnesium deficiency. Uh, I think it's also causing problems in my strawberries because I looked up magnesium deficiencies in strawberries and uh, lo and behold, I'm having, it looks like a magnesium issue. Uh, I'm guessing at best though, you guys, I mean, I've done a little research, but that's what I've come up with. I think this is a magnesium issue. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for you today on the magnesium. I'm hoping that that actually fixes the issues that I'm having here. Um, like I said, the growth is grow is going. So I think the root st systems are finally being established. And um, I need to pay attention to this. This cupping. See that? That's I can drink out of that. So um, that's what I think it is. I think it's magnesium. And um, I hope this fixes it. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, you know what? If you're new, mash that subscribe button and also check the bell icon. If you're old and you've been around with me for a while and you haven't checked the bell icon, check that bell icon so you get video updates from me uh, in your email. So anyways, you guys, like always, God bless you. And um, yeah, peace. Keep, keep, uh, keep growing aquaponically. Try it out, you know, if you have never tried it before. Um, you just got to jump in and you got to start doing it. So, anyway, later, guys.